How much of a role was it you finding somebody that got the best out of you? Well, getting with John was a big part of that because, you know, I think we kind of connected. You know, we believed in, I believed in him and he believed in me and, and I seen that he was definitely out to be a winner. And he brought that spirit to the to the partnership, you know, because he was a Woody Hayes guy and, mm -hmm. you know, he wasn't having it. You know, either you're going to do this right or we're not going to do it at all. How did he talk to you one-on-one? -on -one? How, 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 what was his language For like For the most part, it was, you know, straight up, you know, just conversation, but you seen the sincerity mm -hmm. in his eyes and his voice. But sometimes he could get real nasty and mean, but it was very few times he did that, but he did. When he knew he did that, he was at his end. How nasty, like. Uh, uh, he gets pretty retarded, you know. So like, <laughs> okay, got it. So <laughs> no limit. Stuff, you know, throwing stuff and, you know. In front of you. Right, you know, and he's sure he was upset. Did you react to that? Did, did that kind of make I his... knew that it was legitimate, that he was, he really meant what he's saying. He was he was expressing how sincere he was and that, you know, that he wasn't, he was just tired of the BS at times, you know. So this, this and a lot of it wasn't directed at me. It was just that some of the things that we had to go through to get to that point, you know, because of the negotiations, for example, between him and a promoter. But was he ever like, uh, you know, you look at uh, coaches and players, right? You look at Tyson, the relationship he had with Cus. You know, you, you you look at all these guys, the relationship they have with somebody that comes in that just knows how to get through them, right? Right. Was, would you say that was the case that with him? That was it, that was John. Yeah. And what was the entrance to you? Was it through your heart? Was it through here? Was it through belief? Was it through? Well, it was through my heart and as well as my mind. You know, it was like I seen the sincerity. I felt he really meant it and he believed in me. You know, and then the things that uh, I've noticed that he had to go through to get certain things for me that when nobody believed in me, you know, I seen the sincerity in it. It was just that, you know, you seen the desire and the will and, and sometimes it wouldn't work out and he would be upset. And mm. What was it negative motivation or positive motivation? Both. Or so well, like, for the most part it was positive. But what I'm saying is like, hey, I don't think you really want it. You know, I, I don't think this uh, do you really want to be the champ? Like was it like that or Yeah, he, he did that and that made me laugh because that was kinda, you know, humorous. So that doesn't do nothing to you. Right, but you know, on the other hand, it was just, uh, you know, where he would just be talking and, you know, I would see that it was just genuine. Hmm. But, you know, he would he, he'd kick up a fuss. he kick up a fuss. Uh, yeah, he would. Yeah. Interesting. So who, who was on your team? Because I know it was him, it was your uncle, who, the assistant. Who, who was your team? It was uh, John Johnson, J.D. McCauley, and John Russell. What John, role did each play with you? John Johnson was the manager. And J.D. and uh, John Russell were the trainers. Really, John Russell was the, like the trainer, trainer. J.D. was my, he got, got me up every morning to run. And he would talk to me spiritually in the morning and throughout, the, throughout my career once we got together about he knew that he wouldn't be doing this if he wasn't, didn't believe in me mm. or knew that I could do it. He, I knew you got the ability to do this, but I said, you just got to maintain your focus and uh, – Put the effort in, and it's going to happen for you, you know. Because I mean, we get up at five thirty in the morning, you know, and run, and then some. And mornings, his wife would be there, Aunt Betty would be there, driving the car, you know, having the lights on us while we're driving, running down the street. Wow. You know, so it was a task, but we did it, man. And I'm telling you, it was, you know, in the winter time when the snow was, everybody else was told to stay in the house. You know, because the weather severe, below zero weather, mm -hmm, we'd be mm -hmm. out there running. Oh, I seen you running with snow yeah, on your face. Yeah, and I mean, that was like the best, the best time. Some of my best times, and wow. best moments on the run too. So, so one was how to your trainer. One was business. One was spiritual. Is that a good way of putting it? That was it. That was it. Yeah, we all worked together. We and all worked together. Did did they all each individually know how to work together? Like. Yeah, Do you they think respected that, each other's areas, you know, grounds, you know. They would let one talk at the time when everybody all mumbled together, jumbled together. It was just, you know, they were out of mutual respect for one another. It was the idea like, hey, guys, let's work together to be able to move this guy. Right, and that was just something that really just gradually happened. We all came together for one main effort, and it was me. And that made me feel even better mm -hmm, because I, bet. I knew the main goal was, you know, everybody was there for me.